is Katatrix and welcome to my channel which is all about the science of life and today I'd like to talk about the science of falling in love uh, which a lot of people are interested in and I'm very excited to talk about it so for me the trilogy of falling in love are three things Ohm's law molecules of emotions and childhood voids so let's start with Ohm's law shall we and that's the intensity you feel uh, um, towards someone. So Ohm's law deals with the relationship between voltage and current in an ideal conductor. This relationship states that the potential difference, voltage that is, across an ideal conductor is proportional to the current through it. The constant of proportionality is called the resistance. Now, voltage is also called electromotive force. It is a quantitative expression of the potential difference in charge between two points of an electric field. So the two electrical fields represent the couple, the two people involved in this uh, kind of energy. So the more resistance that exists for any reason at all, whether the person is too far away, whether they're playing hard to get, uh, or there's another issue that you can't be together, or you're wishing to be together but you're not together yet, there is a resistance. Thus, there, the voltage is very high and you are now thinking that you are in love because these feelings are so intense. Now, let's go to molecules of emotions. Now, Candace Perth was an awesome scientist who made an experiment. She took a war hero, took his cells out of his body, put it in a dish, in the laboratory, not too far away from where the person was, and showed him um, a movie of war, which would make his um, cells react to the traumatic experiences. Now what is absolutely extraordinary is that the same cells that were reacting uh, outside of, this, of his body were also reacting seven miles down the line in a faraway laboratory the cells were still reacting. So, let's just say that you exchange fluids with this person, either anywhere from a kiss. Now, remember that we take DNA samples from saliva, so there is a lot of information there. Or you exchange even more fluids sexually. Now, what would happen if that person is thinking of you? Then you would automatically get that message since his cells or her cells are inside of you now or have become part of you somehow. So if you're thinking about someone and you can't get them out of your head and you've exchanged fluids, that could be the reason. And if you have this intense feeling towards them, then it's Ohm's law. Now, of course there's childhood voids, which means that either you have something that you need to be met and or you are addicted to something that's bad for you, either way, you just don't know why you like that person or you need to be with them. So that is the trilogy. Ohm's Law, Molecules of Emotions, and Childhood Voids. So, sorry to burst your bubble, but when you take all that away, then you can see what's left. And that, my friends, is the science of life.